Welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I have the pleasure to start a new series of tutorials dedicated to Serum version 2 which has been recently released at the time of recording this video. Before I continue I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. As I normally do I start very simply from very basic tutorials. So for advanced users, you might want to skip the first ones or you might want to use them to refresh yourself. The idea is that um, I, mo I don't take any assumptions in terms of where each user or viewers is coming from. So they start learning the basics and they move forward from there to more advanced topics. As you can see, I have loaded up Serum 2. It is actually hosted inside Ableton Live, but of course you can use it inside other DAWs as well. Please do let me know, leave in comments, uh, if you would like for me to continue this series, if you are interested, uh, and um, if you need also any questions answered, please do so. So this first tutorial is to get you accustomed to Serum 2 interface, which is quite straightforward, but, but again, for users which might uh, have never used it, that could be quite intimidating. So let's start from the very top. So here where it says Serum 2, you click on it and here you can decide the percentage in terms of size of the screen. So you can make it bigger, smaller, etc. This one is set to 133%, so it's zoomed um, out a little bit so it is bigger on the screen which works very well for me and of course uh, anything higher than that in my case it actually doesn't have enough space on the screen so it doesn't work so it really depends on your resolution monitor that you have available but just remember that and we'll start um, with a default 100% and if it is too small go higher if it is too big go smaller down to a uh, 50% and as you can see, you can go up to a 400%, which is amazing. Okay, next, um, you see the section here, they're called pages. So we are on the oscillator page, okay? Well, and you can see the oscillator here, oscillator A, B, and C. So three oscillators with a very different type of synthesis, like, for example, weight table, multi-sample, sample granular and spectral as well which we'll have we will have a look of course you can enable them disable them at the moment we have only one oscillator active oscillator a because when you load the serum for the first time you have an init preset which you can see it says init here you can see there are two filter filter one and filter two okay and you can see also when i hover over a uh, parameter over a part of the synth, it also comes up with this tooltip. In this case, it says a filter one, um, on, off, etc. etc. Now, if you don't like the, um, the tooltip, go to global, which is another page, and here you see it says help tooltips, click hide. Okay, and also you, which, uh, which is great, it will stop doing that, and you also have parameter value tooltips, which you can hide. Or here it can, for example, customize the double click parameter. At the moment it's set to reset, so we reset the value. But if you double change to type value, when you double click, it will ask you to type a value. And so on and so forth. So you have additional pages as well. Okay, so you have a mix up page. Okay, for your mix, as you can see the sub, three oscillators, noise, the two filters, the different buses, the main and the direct as well which we'll have a look again in the upcoming tutorials. You have a page for effect where you can add, of course, effects. And there are loads, which is great. And metrics, again, for, for modulation, which is really good. And then the global page, which I just showed you. Okay, and um, back to the oscillator um, page. As I said, you have a sub-free oscillator noise and two filters, okay, with different parameters underneath. Then you have a section here for macros, which is really good, really helps out. You have three, four envelopes here, which is absolutely great, okay, in terms of creating your envelope and your modulation. And then, as you can see here, six uh, 
LFO, low frequency oscillator as well, which is fantastic. And then option for nodes here, okay, including velocity. At the bottom here, you have a very uh, interesting controls. The um, main ones, of course, are the clip, which is like your sequencer. We'll see those in a moment. You have also the um, arpeggiator as well. Oh, oops, there you go. Well, you have all the different parameters again really really good click again to exit that view and then you have a keyboard view which of course you can use to play as you can hear but i have uh, included uh, or attached a midi controller so i'm going to use that one instead and then of course you have things like portamento curved etc etc including also option for uh, pitch bend modulation wheel and so on at the very top here where it says uh, in it if you click on in it it gives you an option to go to a category of factory or serum one preset and then you can choose between different category and choose the preset that uh, is best for you you can move to the previous one to the next one and in this case i just loaded one you can see really great <laughs> Let's have a look at the arpeggiator. There it is. And you can see also the notes arpeggiating here on the keyboard. Really, really great. So let's move on to another one. As you can see, I was changing the pattern being played, so that's great. A lot of different options, of course. Now, moving up here, you have also the selection here of the uh, preset browser. I just click on it, it becomes blue. Here you can see the factory one open with the different categories. You can see also the categories highlighted here. You can go also by tags as well. And then here you can go by rating in terms of searching your uh, preset. Of course, at the moment I have selected part, but let's select it again to remove it. And then you see all the presets with the name, the location, category, the last date, which have been modified, and then the rating. At the top here, you see the name of the artist, Seven Skies, for this ARP preset, and also the destination. You see the preset name here, the O for the category in the description, and also some notes if they are available. Okay, so, and then you can choose different presets just clicking on them. You can also use arrows to move up and down, which is great if you are playing and you can use your computer keyboard or laptop keyboard. Okay, and you can press here the play to play an internal clip and default or provided clip in relation to preview that particular preset. You can click on the plane to stop, of course, the preview. Here you have some option. Here you have a cog. Click on it. You can show the preset in Finder if that's what you want to do. Load the random preset, rename or move the preset. And one interesting option is the autoplay previews as well. So as you move between one preset to the next, it will autoplay. Really, really great. Okay, and look at the clips here. Okay, so amazing. Right, so let's do it. Really fantastic. Okay, so let's go back to the browser. 
the preset browser. And here you can see also the reference as well for the macros as well in case you need them. So you can go and select, for example, part, and then of course you can preview one. Okay, again, really nice. And those provided clips help you uh, out as well when it comes in terms of giving you some inspiration as well. Look at this one. And some are more chords based like this one. see also the chords or notes played on the keyboard as well where you can can transpose up and down you can choose the key and also the scale and also set some uh, swing option as well and also oscillator mapping if that is what uh, you need to actually do which will come as a, one of the upcoming tutorial as well so it's really a fantastic symphony and i love the interface <laughs> Let's uh, choose a different um, mallet. Really great, as you can see. Let's try this one. The loops are absolutely amazing, something that I definitely recommend, but the entire set of presets is really great. Okay, so now you should be familiar um, a little bit how to navigate um, the interface. So in the next tutorial, we are going to start to have a look at how we can program the oscillator. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.